everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two young kids and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Today I just have a relatively, for us, small grocery haul from Aldi and I also needed to pick up a few things from Sam's Club. My last several grocery hauls have been way bigger than they normally are. Usually I spend about $150 a week on groceries, but lately I've been spending upwards of three, $400 sometimes. So I'm really happy that this week it feels like it's starting to get back to a little bit more of the normal range for us. This was basically just a fill-in haul. I needed some produce, some dairy, and just things that we run through every week. So there's nothing too, too impressive, but I did find a lot of really cool things in the Aldi finds aisle, and I'm really excited to share those with you guys because sometimes they can be pretty hard to find. So let's go ahead and get started with the Aldi part of the grocery haul. Okay, so we are going to start over here. We're gonna start with some produce. So I needed some broccoli. I am very sad that I was not able to really stop at Walmart this week to get my pre-washed, pre-cut broccoli. So I had to deal with the very strange way that Aldi packages their broccoli, but there's that. Uh, some blueberries, strawberries, bananas, and lemons. I am going to be making stuffed French toast this week, so I wanted to get a pretty nice fruit arrangement for that. Moving on over here, just some dairy restock. So I have some milk, coffee creamer. I did get the Italian sweet cream variety. Uh, two loaves of brioche bread. So I got the loaf bread and then I also got the brioche buns. This is what I'm going to use for the stuffed French toast. I have used this for French toast before and it is absolutely A plus, definitely recommend. This is the first time I've seen pasture raised eggs at Aldi and I was really excited um, because it was also a really great price. Normally the happy egg variety of pasture raised eggs is about almost $6 a dozen and this one was $3.50, so that is really exciting. Uh, okay, so the snacks totally got me today, guys. Um, <laughs> there are quite a few snacks, and there are also quite a few like random one-off items. Aldi had a really great selection of stuff like that this time, so I might have went a tad overboard. So I have seen this at Sam's Club before, and usually it comes in a giganto Sam's Club-sized bag, and Aldi had a um, much smaller bag this time, so I thought I would finally try that since it wasn't in a massive bag in case I didn't like it. Then I just needed some more pepperoni, sour cream, and the kids wanted to try just some like regular normal yogurt. So this is a special find this week. These are uh, dumplings, so there's beef dumplings and chicken dumplings. I am a big um, frozen dumpling connoisseur. I love eating them for lunch, so I will absolutely report back as soon as I try these. Now here are three things that I'm super excited about. I've heard so much ranting and raving about the pork burnt ends. Now, hear me out. I am usually extremely skeptical of prepackaged meats like this, you know, the ones that are already um, cooked and seasoned and things like that. People on Aldi forums and Aldi Facebook pages and Instagram swear up and down that these are super duper. So we will see. So I got the burnt ends, the Thai coconut chicken, and then I've also heard great things about their refrigerator section mac and cheese. So I'm thinking some sort of lunchtime deal with these and yeah, excited. This is my favorite type of rice to get. I love being able to grab it whenever I'm low at Aldi. Back here, just some more things for my pantry. So some canola oil, I go through this quickly. It's my main cooking oil. I'll use it for shallow frying and stuff. And then I've um, worked through all of my refried, bre bleh, refried beans. So I went ahead and got two cans of restock there. I got some chicken sausage. Tess really likes to eat sausages and hot dogs for lunch or dinner if she doesn't want what I made. So I got those for her. And I'm most excited for this. It is a pretzel tray. They did have a savory and a sweet variety. I got the savory and it comes with a mustard sauce and a cheese sauce and the sweet came with a um, like cinnamon swirl 
flavor and then I think a dolce, dolce de leche, dolce de leche, please don't make fun of me for my pronunciation. Um, I'll try to find a picture and put it up here in the corner. Uh, super excited for this, most definitely trying this tomorrow. Also saw some people talking about these, about how yummy they were and I'm extremely excited to try them. Someone said that everybody was like sleeping on these and these are actually like wonderfully delicious so we'll see. So many hash browns, no point in introducing them. Did need some more french fries. I The final verdict is in from the last video. The extra toasty is better than the regular Aldi Cheez-It so I will continue to be getting those whenever they're available. Just picked up some fruit and grain bars for the kids. I see a couple of my YouTube friends constantly getting these for their kids and yeah, jumping on the train. Uh, some whipped cream just for like the leftover fruit that we have down there for dipping and stuff. I have never cooked with this uh, style of pasta, so I'm excited to use it for something. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Then over here, I'm going to be making some homemade Rice Krispie treats. I'm going to be making them into a cute little spring dessert, so be on the lookout for that video next week. And also our uh, favorite thin crust pizza, and how could I forget the also nine million boxes of French toast sticks for the kids. So here is everything that I got from Aldi. Okay, I'm just gonna run through here super fast and give you the most brief and quick Sam's Club haul ever. So right here, we just have a two pack of our favorite bread, the Sara Lee Honey Wheat, a restock of some heavy duty tin foil, uh, the kids' favorite chicken nuggets. I was completely out of butter, so I bought like a like lesser quality unsalted butter and then I bought my favorite delicious Kerrygold butter. Uh, the kids will eat Go-Gurt in the morning with their breakfast. And then this is really the only interesting thing I found, a dill pickle chopped salad. So yeah, I love pickles. We'll see how this goes. And this is everything I got from Sam's Club. So that is everything that I got from Aldi and Sam's Club. Like I said, I accidentally went really hard on the snacks. Um, that seems to be a reoccurring theme for me, but every week I am still shocked about it. Anyway, so the totals for today, Aldi was $113.11 and Sam's Club was $68.69. So once again, I'm no math wizard. I will leave the total here for you. I feel like I got a whole bunch of interesting stuff, some really great Aldi finds, and we got more than enough to last us into next week. So thank you so much for watching today, everybody. I really do appreciate it, even though this is a relatively small haul for me. I do want to thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you would like to see more, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Real quick, just in case you're curious, basically everywhere was out of my favorite beloved pickles. All right, bye.